Dr. and Nurse, well, they know what to do. They do. They'll always take good care of you. So be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy, and get well I'm Dr. Ranj. Welcome to our very special hospital just for children. Come on, I'll show you around. Lots of clever people like doctors and nurses work here. And they're specially trained to care for children, just like you. You may come here because you're not feeling well or you need to have a test or an operation. Hello. Hello, Dr. But don't worry, whatever you're here for, there'll be someone like me to check that you're healthy or to help you get well soon. This is my floor. I'd better get to work. Hello. I'm on a ward today. This is where children stay when they need to be looked after in hospital. I'm going to visit one of our patients. I wonder who it will be. Who's having a visit from me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. I know who that is. It's Petal. With buttons and bangles, the jangle as I hop. When I'm having so much fun, it's hard for me to stop. Twirling, twisting when I'm singing any song I choose Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping in my dancing shoes Twirling, twisting when I'm singing any song I choose Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping in my dancing shoes Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping in my dancing shoes Woo! Hello, Petal. Oh, hello, Dr Ranch. Look, I've drawn a picture of me! That's lovely. Look, I'm dancing. <laughs> You've been very busy, Petal. Mm, I've used my favourite colours. Purple and pink and yellow and purple and pink and purple. <laughs> it's good to see you smiling, Petal. You've not been feeling well, have you? No, Dr Range, but I feel much better now. And I can't really dance in bed, although I can do this. <laughs> But I've been in bed a lot now, so can I go home? I'm glad you're feeling better, but you need to be in hospital a little longer. Why, Dr Range? So we can find out what made you feel unwell and check to see if there's anything else we can do to make you even better. Have you come to give me some more medicine then, Dr Range? No, Petal. I'm going to put a tiny tube into the back of your hand here so we can give you medicine through the tube. Like an injection? It's a bit like an injection petal. It's called a cannula. Can I what? Cannula. Cannula. It's like a little straw that slides into the back of your hand. I'm going to put some hospital cream on so it won't hurt. Why does the little straw tubey thing have to go into my hand? Sometimes when you're in hospital to make you better, we need to give you different types of medicine that you don't swallow. The medicine goes from your hand into your blood. My blood? Yes. You mean the red stuff that comes out if I cut myself? Your blood is very important. It moves around your body all the time. How? Your heart squeezes your blood around your body all the time through lots of little pipes called arteries and veins. Do they all join up together? Yes, they're all connected and they carry your blood all around your body. It looks like a map with lots of wiggly roads. Think of it like two lanes of traffic. The arteries carry blood from the heart to the rest of the body and the veins carry it to the heart from the rest of the body. Your cannula goes into one of your veins and your veins are all over your body. Oh, even in my big toe? Yes. Even in my little toe? Yes, even in your little toe. Even in the 
end of my chin, the end of my nose and the end of my elbow. Yes, yes and yes, your veins are all over your body. But, Dr Range, when I have medicine that I swallow, like I had before, does that medicine have to go into my blood as well? Yes, it does. Oh. Our bodies do amazing things, Petal. When you swallow medicine, it still ends up in your blood and then your blood carries it where it needs to go. My body keeps very busy, doesn't it, Dr Ange? Very busy, Petal. Now, are you ready for me to put some cream on your hand? What will it feel like, Dr Ange? It might feel a bit cold, but that's all. OK, I'm ready then. Well done, Petal. First, we'll put some cream on. And then let's cover it with a plaster. There. All done. Now, we have to wait for 30 minutes for the cream to work. 30 minutes? What are we going to do for 30 minutes, Dr Ranch? Why don't you draw another picture, Petal, and I'll come back and see you a bit later. OK, then. See you soon, Petal. Hello, Petal. Oh, hello, Dr Ranch. I was so busy drawing that 30 minutes felt like a few seconds. Look, do you like it? It's you, Dr Range. Oh, that is a good picture, Petal. You can have it. That's my name. So it's signed by the artist. That's me. <laughs> Thank you, Petal. Now, how does your hand feel? I can't really feel anything on the back of my hand. It just feels funny. Good. That means that the cream is working. OK. Now, I'm going to put the little tube into a vein in the back of your hand using a needle. Are you sure it won't hurt, Dr Range? It might feel a bit funny, but it won't hurt. You just have to keep still. Can I just practice keeping still? Yes, of course, if you want to. Thank you. That's very good, Petal, but it might be better if you're still and relaxed. Oh, OK. I can do that. I love your picture of me singing and dancing, Petal. I'm going to frame it and put it on my wall. Thanks, Dr Range. You can have all my drawings if you promise it won't hurt when you put that tubey thing into my hand. What? You mean the cannula? Hmm. Yes. In fact, I don't mind if you don't do it at all. But I've already done it, Petal. What? Oh, that didn't hurt. Well done. Where's the needle? Well, I've taken the needle out. Only a little tube is left in your hand. Really feel it. Does the tubey thing stay in my hand forever and ever? No, Petal. The cannula only stays in your hand while you're in hospital so we can give you the medicine. I have the cleverest, busiest body in the whole world, just like me. <laughs> no matter where the problem is, your head, your nose, or your knee. It gets that healing medicine Just where it needs to be and that, that is what a cannula can do That is what a cannula can do No matter where the problem is Your head, your nose or your knees It gets that Healing medicine Just where it needs to be and that, that is what a cannula can do 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 Our bodies are really clever, Petal. And so are you for doing so many lovely drawings. Oh, they're all for you, Dr Range. I'll sign them all too, so you can frame them and put them all on your wall. Thanks, Petal. But I think I'm going to need something else now as well. What, Dr Range? Some more walls. <laughs> but now you deserve a sticker for being so clever and so brave. Thanks, Dr Range. You're welcome, Petal. Bye. Bye. It's time for me and everyone here at the Children's Hospital to say goodbye now. 
Thanks for coming to see us. See you next time. But until then, be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. If you're not feeling well, it's always best to go and see your own doctor and get well soon.